Jessica, are you are you with serotonin too? Final answer, serotonin. So the correct answer is actually dopamine. So dopamine is is the neurotransmitter that is responsible for pleasure. It's the one that gives you that that makes you feel on top of the wall when you're doing something. So it's dopamine. So that's the final answer. All right, guys, you're welcome to the first episode of the Anatomy Challenge. And with me in the hot seats are two midwifery students, very intelligent midwifery students. They've done so much research about the nervous system and they are ready to trash any question that comes from the nervous system. Like any question that comes from the nervous system, they are ready to trash it. So without wasting much time, I want them to introduce themselves. My name is Opot Rivera and I'm a new one midwifery student. My name is Uchi Jessica and I'm new one midwifery student. All right, Vera and Jessica, you're welcome to the Anatomy Challenge. So on a scale of one to 10, can you tell me how ready you are for this quiz? Beginning with Jessica. Eight. Eight over 10. Yeah. Serious? Eight over 10. That's quite high anyway. How about uh, Vera? Nine. Nine over 10. Yes. Wow. All right, so let's, let's prove that. Let's prove that. The first question here is, uh, what is the basic unit of the nervous system? We have neuron, neuroglia, brain, neurotransmitter. A, neuron. Neuron. Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. Jessica, are you sure you don't want to change? Yes, final answer. Congratulations, neuron is the basic unit of the nervous system. The estimated number of neurons in the human body is... We have 1 million, 10 million, 100 billion, 1 trillion. See, 100 billion. See, 100 billion. Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. Final answer, 100 billion. Congratulations. So the estimated number of neurons in the human body is uh, 100 billion. Which of these is not a collection of nervous tissue? We have tracts, neuron, nerve. Ganglion. B. Neuron. Neuron. Yes. Is that the final answer? Yes. You guys are not even thinking about this. You're not. You're not just thinking. You're not even thinking of the questions. Final answer. Neuron. Congratulations. So the neuron is not a collection of nervous tissue. Neuron is just a cell. But tracts are collections of um, uh, axons of neurons, nerves in in the central nervous system. While nerves are collections of axons of neurons in the peripheral nervous system. Then ganglion are uh, collections of cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system. Which of these two cells secrete myelin sheets? Astrocytes and swan cells, oligodendrocytes and swan cells, microglia and ependymal cells, ependymal cells and satellite cells. B. B. Yes. Oligodendrocyte and swan cells. Yes. So those are the two cells that secrete myelin sheets. Yes. Is that the final answer? Yes. Congratulations. The answer is correct. So the two cells that secrete myelin sheets are the gudendrocytes, the central nervous system, and swan cells in the peripheral nervous system. What part of the neuron is called corpus? Axon, dendrite, cell body, axon terminal. Cell body. Cell body. Cell body. Yes. Final answer, cell body. Yes. Congratulations. Um, cell body is the correct answer. So what type of neurons are common in the retina? Unipolar neurons, bipolar neurons, multipolar neurons, pseudo unipolar neurons. B, bipolar neurons. Bipolar neurons. Yes. Vera, you're not saying anything. Yes, B, bipolar neurons. Final answer bipolar neurons. Are you sure of that? Are you sure you don't want to change? So bipolar neuron is actually correct. Congratulations. So far, you've answered six questions correctly. Like, you guys are really prepared for this. You are really prepared for this, uh, for this quiz. Which is not part of the central nervous system? We have medulla oblongata, cornus medullaris, corda equina, corpus callosum. Like this one is making you, <laughs> this one is making you think, unlike others.
which is not part of the central nervous system. You have 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, four, three, 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 two, one. Final answer, Koda Equina. Unfortunately, can, can I do my quiz? No, we've already, we've already passed the time. Unfortunately, the correct answer is C, Koda Equina. So you're actually correct. <laughs> So, Koda Equina are collections, they are, they are a group of nerves that exist uh, below the corneus medullaris. So, they are, they are nerves, so they are part of the peripheral nervous system. The most nu numerous glial cells are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia, swan cells. A, astrocyte. Astrocyte. Yes. Final answer, astrocyte. Yes. You are correct. Astrocytes are the most numerous neuroglial cells. Which of these tracts conveys sensory impulses? Rubrospinal tract, spinothalamic tract, corticospinal tract, vestibulospinal tract. All right, so we have another strong question. You are free to choose different options if you want. You have 10 seconds. Five, you see how five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one. Final answer, spinothalamic tract. You are correct, congratulations. So spinothalamic tract receives impulses from the spinal cord to the brain. To the thalamus, so it is ascending, so it carries sensory impulses. The seventh cranial nerve is abducens, facial nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve. B, facial nerve. Facial nerve. Yes. Final answer, facial nerve. Yes. Unfortunately, the correct answer is facial nerve. Congratulations. So facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve. So you've not even failed any question yet. Like the first 10 questions, you've all trashed it. Wow, so you guys are really, you're, you're vast in anatomy. Is it just the nervous system or all the systems? All the systems. All the all the systems. systems. Yes. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so let's move to the next question. What cranial nerve regulates heart rates? Oculomoto, abducent. Vagus, hypoglossal. Vagus nerve. Vagus nerve. Yes. Vagus nerve. Yes. Final answer. Vagus nerve. Yes. Congratulations. The correct answer is vagus nerve. Which of these species is found between the vertebral column and meninges? Epidural space, subdural space, subarachnoid space. Central canal. A. Epidural space. Wow. Epidural space. Yes. Final answer, epidural space. Yes. Congratulations. Epidural space is found above the dura mater. The typical location of the corneus medullaris is between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Between L2 and L3 vertebrae. Between L3 and L4 vertebrae. Between L4 and L5 vertebrae. Between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Is that the final answer? Yes. Final answer between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Do you want to change? We still have some time. A. Yes. Between L1 and L2 vertebrae. You still have five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Two seconds. One. Unfortunately, unfortunately, 
the correct answer is A, between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Which of these describes the shape of the spinal cord? So what is the shape of the spinal cord? We have uh, cylindrical, hexagonal, cone, pier. A, cylindrical. Cylindrical. Yes. Without wasting much time, you're actually correct. Congratulations. You've touched 14 questions. Are you serious? Wow. 15. What part of the cerebrum helps with decision making? Primary motor cortex, prefrontal cortex, Broca's area, Winnicke's area. D, Winnicke's area. D, area. You still have 10 seconds. Let's with Winnicke's area. area. Jessica, are you with Winnicke's area too? Yeah. Winnicke's area, final answer. Well, I think the correct answer is B. Prefrontal ah. cortex. Prefrontal cortex is um, it's actually the part that helps with decision making. So we're out of 15 questions. We've already only failed one. The bridge of the brain is medulla oblongata, pons, midbrain, hypothalamus. Pons. Final answer, pons. You still have time to think about it. <laughs> Why? Okay, you don't want to think about this. I think pawns. You are choosing pawns. So we'll go with pawns. Yeah. The correct answer is, is B, pawns. You're actually correct. The relay station of the brain is medulla oblongata, thalamus, hypothalamus, cerebellum. B, thalamus. Wow, you're so fast with that. Actually, sure you don't want to change. No. You still have some time to think about it. Oh, final answer. Yes. Final answer, thalamus. Congratulations, you are correct. The thalamus is the relation of the brain. The deepest sulcus in the brain is central sulcus, lateral sulcus, longitudinal fissure, transverse fissure. The deepest circles in the brain. You have 10 seconds. C. You still have time. Jessica, are you sure you want to choose something else? Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds, one second. Final answer, longitudinal fissure. Actually, the correct answer is longitudinal fissure. So it's a fissure that divides the uh, cerebrum into hemispheres, into right and left hemispheres. So that is deeper circles. What loop of the brain has the primary motor cortex, frontal loop, parietal loop, temporal loop, occipital loop. You have 10 seconds. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, you can still change your mind, two seconds, one second. So final answer, frontal loop. So the correct answer is actually 
the frontal lobe. You're correct. Gyri and sulci are features of cerebrum, medulla oblongata, spinal cord, pons. A cerebrum. Cerebrum. A cerebrum. Jessica. Mm. Are you sure you don't want to choose pons? No. So gyra and sulca are features of the cerebrum. Yeah. Final answer, cerebrum. Vera, it seems you want to change. Mm, I choose that. So final answer, cerebrum. All right, congratulations, you're actually right. So, so far you failed only one question. So you had 19 over 20. Wow, you guys are actually vast in anatomy. Well, we've come to the end of this uh, first episode of the Anatomy of Charlotte Quiz. So if you learned something, you can give us a thumbs up by clicking on the like icon on your screen. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, you're going to miss other episodes. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.